Good day, kids! Today, we're going to discuss TLE Agriculture 6, Module 5, Lesson 11. This is Teacher Sandy Cinco. Let's begin. So, tools and equipment in plant propagation. Hand tools are usually light and used without the help of animals or machines. They are being used in performing farm activities which involve small areas like school garden, home garden, and farms. Short handled tools can be used while sitting or kneeling. These include draw wells, hand forks, hand cultivator, weeding knives, etc. Don't buy inexpensive hand tools made of thin metal. They are just not worth the money, being too easy to bend and often having sharp edges on handles or unwielded seams that cut hands or let in water and moisture, allowing a wooden handle to rot. You should look for stainless steel working parts with all seams and joints welded and ground smooth and strong shaped handles for good gripping expect a well-made tool with proper care to last okay these are some short handled tools let's start we have the hand trowel this is used for loosening the soil around the growing plants. So these are tools under short handle, meaning just one hand. You can use it by just one hand. Next, hand cultivator. This is used for cultivating the garden plot by loosening the soil and removing weeds around the plant. Sickle. This is a handheld agricultural tool with various curved blade typically used for cutting weeds. Dibbler. A small hand tool used to make holes in the ground for plants, seeds, or bulbs. Next is we are going to discuss on long handled tools long handled tools tools like shovels spades rakes hoes and other tools with handles more than three feet long are made to keep you from bending over too far and straining your back there are six kinds of long handled tools that you can use round end shovel, spade, spading fork, broad bladed hoe, steel tinned rake, and leaf rake. If you're a shorter person, handles can be shortened if needed. Taller people may need to look far and wide to find a handle long enough for themselves. So, buy an appropriate handle. Shovel, let's start. This is used in removing trash, digging loose soil, moving soil from one place to another, and for mixing soil media. Spade. It looks like shovels but have a flat blade with straight sharp end. They pierce the soil easily, make clean edges and are useful for slicing straight down into the soil. Next, spading fork. This is used for loosening the soil, digging out root crops, and turning over the materials in a compost heap. Break. 
this is used for cleaning the ground and leveling the topsoil. Used for collecting dried leaves, grass, and dirt. Grub hoe. This is used for breaking hard topsoil and pulverizing soil. Light hoe. This is used for loosening and leveling the soil and digging out furrows and for planting. Pick mattock. This is used for digging canals, breaking hard topsoil, and for digging up stones and tree stumps. Okay, let's proceed now with the last one, the crowbar. This is used for digging big holes and for digging out big stones and stumps. Next is watering tools so there are tools under watering tools let's start with water pails water pails are used for hauling water manure water manure and fertilizers water sprinkler a tool used to sprinkle or pour water on the plants sprayers are used for spraying insecticides foliar fertilizers fungicides and herbicides so these are fertilizers and insecticides Water hose, a flexible tube which carries water and is used to water plants. So that's under watering tools. Next are pruning tools. Let's proceed. Pruning tools. You will need pruning tools like hand pruners, loopers, and pruning saws to keep shrubs and trees shapely and well proportioned as they grow as with planting planting tools look for solidly constructed tools and keep them clean oiled and sharpened don't bother of the cost because a good tool is a good investment pruning shears or hand pruner is used for cutting branches of planting materials and unnecessary branches of plants Hand pruners are used for cutting dead flowers off perennials and snipping small twigs. Never use a pair of hand pruners on branches or sticks larger than a half inch in diameter. While your own strength may make the pruners cut through the branch, you risk twisting the blades out of alignment. For larger branches, use looper what is a loopers loopers are simply long handled pruners used to remove small limbs from trees cut up limbs into smaller pieces for hauling away and reach into thorny shrubs from a safe distance pruning saws are used for cutting larger limbs anything more than about two inches in diameter from trees and for cutting large limbs into smaller pieces to haul away they come with blade that are either rigidly attached to the handle or that can be folded back into the handle bolo used for cutting tall grasses and weeds and chopping branches of trees Axe. Axe is for cutting bigger size post. Wheelbarrow. Used for hauling trash, manures, fertilizers, planting materials, and other 
equipment. So you move these materials from one place to another. Grinder. So this is under other tools. Grinder, a machine tool used for grinding. It is a type of machining using an abrasive wheel as the cutting tool. Now, for our last topic in lesson 11, preventive maintenance of tools and equipment in plant propagation. Okay. Preventive maintenance. Tools and equipment should be cleaned immediately. It is important in order to keep, to keep them in a safe, usable condition that limits downtime and extends productivity. So, clean by washing if possible or simply wipe the tool then dry so after using the tool lubricate it with oil to protect the tool and equipment from rust routine checkup and maintenance should always be performed check the tools and equipment for wear and tear check if the blade is still sharp if the handle is loose and if there is rust a sharp tool can do the job effectively and efficiently which will shorten the time of work then apply possible solution by sharpening the cutting edge by fixing the handle or by applying lubrication if it is broken or damaged repair the broken part to restore the tool in good working condition Okay. Lubrication of tools and equipment before storing should always be done. So always remember, storing before storing, lubrication is important. It should be done. Always should be done. Let's remember use the different tools and equipment in plant propagation properly apply safety precautions when doing plant propagation and always maintain the condition of the tools and equipment used in plant propagation to make it last longer okay that's our lesson for the day. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned a lot. Until next time, bye!